Hello? Hello? This is probably the weirdest story on this list, easily hands down. This involves a guy, this student, who got in trouble because he basically attempted a pro wrestling move on his principal. I know, it sounds wacky. This dude, uh, in the middle of school, went up to his principal in the hallway and actually tried to RKO him, in which the principal, you know, saw what was coming, I guess, and uh, kind of countered it a little bit. You know, some real WWE type of shit going on. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you the footage of that because YouTube is pretty much Hello Kitty Playland now. However, I can show you the footage of what the same student got arrested for one week after this because they started looking at his social media to check if he was doing anything. And he got caught for posting this video of him vandalizing a fake decor alligator at this shopping mall or something like that. He jumped in and attacked it. It was ridiculous. Runs over, jumps over the side rail, goes into the water, grabs an alligator over there for the core, throws it onto the ground, slams it, he jumps on top of it, and uh, not realizing that he caused damage, he damaged the actual alligator, which is valued over $3,600. Last week, Sosa Hernandez was seen on video trying to use a wrestling move on a Southridge High School principal. So this is a crazy one. This involves a 63-year-old teacher. I'm not exactly sure what subject you but basically one of her students, a 13-year-old, reported to, I guess, other teachers or the principal or something like that at the school, that this 63-year-old teacher smacked him on the face, and it ended up being true. Basically what happened was, uh, they were in class, and you know how kids are, they can say some stuff sometimes, especially when they're around that age, 13 years old, you're probably in like 8th grade. I think this kid, he was actually in a middle school, so... It's kind of an age group that likes to mess around and can be typically a little bit on the meaner side, let's all be honest. And this student, he said something that was, I guess, profane according to oh, the shit, teacher, dude. and he said it towards her, and oh, no. it obviously very much pissed her off. So in response, instead of disciplining him in, I guess, a usual manner, she was so mad that she actually slapped this kid in the face. You're a fantasy football free agent. Everyone wants to sign you. But the official NFL fantasy app is pulling out all the stops. You wanna go to Super Bowl? NFL feet, baby. You wanna go shopping for yeah. the All the way through. How about going to your team's training plan? NFL draft experience in Las Vegas? You want to design a pair of You better make me look glass. So what's it gonna be? You wanna sign with NFL fantasy? Sign with the official NFL fantasy app to get live, local, and prime time games. Custom player highlights and a chance to win perks like no one else. And they the most. Not surprisingly, she ended up getting arrested. Investigators right, tell us the video was inappropriate and comments in class. They had to kill him. Believe the comment was directed at her and reacted quickly. The on, smack dude. caused redness and swelling on the victim's face. After her arrest, McKillie declined to speak with deputies. Pretty much
network or something like that, and he ended up causing the network to be down for a total of at least three hours. Now, the real weird thing for me is like he didn't necessarily do anything, or at least I don't think. He did burst out! Burst out! Burst out! Story. Go forward! Oh my God! No, no, we're stuck down here now. Revive me, revive me, please. Like that to basically an empty school. So he ended up calling 911 at around 6.30, a couple hours after school got down, and his mom had already got police involved at this point. So she was worried about where it was and the fact that he never got let out of school or anything. So after all this happened, somebody came and let him out. But still, last she'd heard, he was in timeout in the dean's office, but he was actually in a room next door. I woke up and I was by myself in in that room. Then I checked the door, so nobody was there, so I called police. Dude, I need some shields. Does anybody have shields? Please tell me somebody has shields. Shit. Guys, help! Guys, I need, uh, I need medium ammo, please. Somebody. The other guy? No, someone in my house. Oh. Woo! Alright, yeah, man. This man be targeting me. Help me, please. Dude, come here. Here, dude, I'll get you. Come on, dude, get down here. Ah! I'm so sorry. Bro, by I'm the way, sorry. I sent you a friend request, though, by the way, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, cool.
Get out of there, dude. Get out. Get out. Oh, no. Oh, nice. GG. Okay. Bye, dude. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Alright guys, peace out.